So I bought my 3DS secondhand from a game store in England. It was absolutely filthy when I bought it and it has a whole bunch of bumps and scratches and scrapes from the previous owner. It seriously needs some love and today I'm going to truly make it mine. Kia ora everyone, this is Hey Johanna. Today I have decided to fully customize my DS. I'm going to be using my Posca pens, which are one of my absolute favorite pens in the whole wide world. They are water-based pigment ink pens and they can draw on pretty much anything, wood, glass, plastic, metal, <laughs> anything you can pick up really. And they are super, super cool because they are so opaque and can create a really cool kind of graphic-y, graffiti artist sort of look. I am a little bit of a novice at using them, but hopefully today I can learn a couple of things and produce something that's pretty cool. I'm a little bit nervous. I've been sitting here for honestly about 10 minutes just wondering where to start because I don't want to mess it up. But even if I do mess it up, I know I can just like take it off and then do another coat before I seal it in with my sealing spray. But I don't know, I'm still so nervous. I think I might try sketching out some things first just to get an idea of what I want to draw on this and hopefully that will help me out with starting the process. Or a muffin. I think I like muffins more than cupcakes, but cupcakes are the ones with the icing usually, so. And they just look prettier. Ooh, let's have some cherries. Yes. What about an Illuminati triangle? I haven't done anything to do with what's actually in the games that I play, so this is gonna be purely like Holly's random stuff that she kind of likes slash some flames and a bottle of random potion <laughs> and an Illuminati eye because that's something I like apparently. Maybe next year I can take off the layer of Posca pens and uh, draw a new one. Oh, I actually kind of like that. I think that gives me enough to work with for now. I started off this process by drawing or coloring in my cat because she was one of the things that I knew I wanted to have in there. She's one of the biggest elements of the whole drawing. So I just thought I'd start with her see how things worked out and uh, oh, it just turned out so cute. It just made me really confident for the rest of the drawing. So I sort of saw how she turned out and I thought she was so cute. I was really happy with that. You'll see with the clouds that I did there and also the rainbow, these lighter colors, they kind of need a couple of coats because you can sort of see that they're a little bit patchy. The red kind of shows through a little bit and it's, it's no big deal, but I just thought I'd mention it because it is important. Sometimes you will need a couple of coats with these Posca pens on the darker colors, like the black or the blue, it's fine. They go down so well and so opaque, but you do actually kind of need to go over on the light pinks and the whites and everything, but it's just no big deal. Once it's dry, it just goes down so easily. This piece turned out so much more colorful than I was expecting it to, but I actually really like it because it's kind of, you know, it's kind of exciting. It's kind of that free gaming feel that I actually get from playing games on my DS sort of adventure kind of thing. So it's not, it's not like overly colorful. I don't think that it's over the top or anything. It's not necessarily me, but I think it just works so well. I think it is really cute. I don't usually color things this colorfully. So it's quite challenging and fun to be forced to use this really vibrant and also limited range of colors that I had to try and create something that looked good. So that was a bit of a challenge for me because I mostly use markers, which you can get a really easy blend, but with this really limited range, you sort of have to improvise a little bit. Now I was worried that these flames were gonna turn out looking like those, you know, early 2000s flame shirts that everyone wore, and they kind of did, but I liked them a lot. I thought they were so cute and I don't really know what they represent but it's just so cute they worked out so well I actually really love them so you'll see again with the lollipop and the dog that I draw you know they just need a couple of coats because they're not completely opaque the first time but as soon as you color over them they're just fine so yeah just that I mentioned that so my dog is not actually that color, but I didn't really have the kind of gingery brown color in my Posca pens. I don't even know if they sell a color like that. So I just had to kind of improvise and use a beige. This lollipop is probably one of my favorite features of this whole artwork. I just think it's so cute and I love lollipops. Like I will not pass up the opportunity to eat a lollipop. So just. There's a little fact about me. So I decided to outline all of the elements in a black Posca pen to really help them pop out from the bright background. And I think this just helped sort of 
set them apart from each other as well and make it look really doodly and really graphic so I'm really happy with that decision. The kind of watermelon wedge under the dog was supposed to be a lemon because I really like lemons and I really like yellow but I remember that my dog Riley really likes to eat watermelon so I thought I'd just put that in there but I didn't have the right kind of red so I mixed a kind of pink and it sort of worked out. This Illuminati eye, I, I don't really know where I got the idea. I just drew a triangle and was like, oh, wouldn't it be cute if I put an eye in there? And I actually really like it. It's probably one of my favorite bits of this piece. It sort of doesn't make any sense, but I don't know. It kind of ties the piece together, so I really like it. So I do use a kind of shimmery Posca pen for the gas coming out of the bottle as well as a gold Posca pen on the lightning bolt and they're a little bit different to the regular Posca pen. The starters they're not entirely opaque like the rest of them are because you know they're kind of glittery so you can sort of see through them but if you sort of layer them up enough times they do become opaque. And here you can see I'm drawing some little sort of inverted toadstools. They're kind of a nod to the Mario games that I like to play. I, I love Super Mario Bros and I love Mario Kart. I have both Mario Bros 1 and 2 and Mario Kart so those are honestly the games I play the most on my DS. <laughs> like I know they're sort of just little fun children's games but I just love them. They help me sort of calm down a little bit. Actually they don't help me calm down. I'm an absolute rage player but <laughs> yeah so that's a nod to them. But they are inverted. I actually didn't realize until I'd colored them in white. I was like, hold on, toadstools are actually red with white spots. And I just kind of got it wrong, but you know, I still think they're cute. <laughs> so here I'm drawing like a couple of other random elements, like there's lipstick in the corner and then a soda cup there. I sort of put some little oranges on it to be like, this is healthy, this is not just Coke. <laughs> and then there's some glasses in the corner. These bits I was kind of just winging because obviously I had my little sketchbook of pieces that I was going to add and I just didn't realize how much I'd be able to cram onto this quite small area. I had all these extra spaces available so I was like okay well I guess I'll put in a lipstick, I guess I'll put in a juice box, I guess I'll put in some glasses and the glasses actually are really funny because it kind of looks like the dog's wearing them and then I sort of still felt that it was a little bit you know plain so I started adding in all these dots everywhere. They're like little glitters and I actually think that it tied the piece together really well. And then you can see I just do a basic rainbow along the bottom with the DS. I actually wasn't initially planning on colouring this part of the DS but to be honest at this point I was just having so much fun with colouring the DS and I wanted to do more <laughs> and so I just thought I'd uh, put in that rainbow and it turned out so good like I really like it so there's no regrets there. Here's the final result. I think it turned out so so cute. I just love looking at this. It's so rainbowy and fun. It's just so cute. I'm really really pleased with it. I didn't end up doing the back of the DS because the front took me so long. Way longer than I was expecting. Like hours and hours. I think I was just really scared that I was going to mess it up and I was being really careful and a couple of the areas I had to go over a couple of times because they were quite light pens and you could still see the red coming through. And maybe I'll do the back at another time. I don't know. I don't think it really needs it. I think it's just cute by itself. Yeah. So I sealed it in two coats of this Liquitex gloss varnish stuff um, because otherwise the Posca pen would be able to chip off quite easily so hopefully that holds it for you know <laughs> at least a little while. The best part of this whole process is that I really feel like this DS is mine now. I mean when you buy something second hand I just half the time I can't get past the feeling that it's not really mine that it's someone else's that I'm kind of borrowing or using for the time being which is honestly fine like I enjoy buying things second hand because it's less wastage all around but I just didn't feel like this was mine so now I really think that you know it's no one else's. No one else is going to buy this off me after I'm done with it and uh, yeah so I'm just thrilled. I'm, I'm so thrilled. Anyway these Posca pens are just I just can't recommend them enough. I love them so much. By the way this is not a sponsored video I just love these pens. Just this much. They're just amazing. They can just draw on anything. That just blows my mind. Like I could draw all over this desk and make something really pretty and it would work. <laughs> but yeah, I highly recommend getting some of these, even just for fun. Even if you're not an artist, it's just fun to be able to draw on things. As far as I know, you can get them pretty much anywhere. Uh, I got some of mine off Amazon, I got some of mine in different art stores in the UK, I got some from an art store in Sweden, so I think they're just everywhere. I fully understand that I have like, you know, five to ten people who watch my videos, but if you do something like this on your laptop or DS or phone or whatever, 
please send me a picture because this is my new thing and I'd love to see it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Kia ora everyone, have a wonderful evening and I'll see you later. Bye!